Alright, Sedge. <laughs> so, I gotta cut a bunch of these because someone gave me a weird project where I gotta cut a bunch of super short cuts. How do I do that on the Capex? So, you're saying, how do I cut a bunch of repeatable small pieces? Yes. Ha, okay. So, come on over here. I want you to see this. Okay. Um, I call this the no go zone. You see these hands? Your hand should never be in this area. No. Yeah. Okay? Your hand, if you're gonna hold something, you press against. You don't grip on anything, all right? But here's the thing. I always teach everybody to use the hold down because this is a great clamp down. So how do you cut these, right? And I have seen pros doing this out on job sites, holding something like this. This is a recipe for disaster. It's not if you're gonna get hurt, it's when you're gonna get hurt. Yikes. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna make a holding fixture that you can get repeatability on any slide compound miter saw, okay? And the repeatability will come here. Nice. So follow me on this. We'll go back over here to the MFT and build it. Sounds good. Okay, so now we're building this. <laughs> oh, and it's really simple. We're basically gonna do this. We're gonna, I just took two scraps that are the same thickness as this. And over the years, you'll make one if you're doing some half inch stuff or one inch stuff. Just always, you always have scraps. So I'm gonna use the same thickness material of the pieces I wanna cut and I'm gonna offset it. I know this is the size we need, so I'm gonna make it about just like that. Give it plenty of holding power okay. where my blade's gonna cut it right here. Oh, okay. I'll mark my board just like this. This will help when we go into glue up, okay? And then what I did, is I scribed a line here. I'm gonna take it like this, so I know where to drill it, just like this. And I've probably made 10, 20, 30 of these over the years. Oh wow. Just because I like to cut safe. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set you up with a countersink bit, and you'll probably put one right here. And let's see where that mark is. We'll do one right here. And we'll do one right here and go ahead and countersink them. Okay. I'll speed it up for you. <laughs> okay, just be careful with this. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, do this one. Nice thing about this is it's a non mark oopsie. It's a it's a non marring tip. Okay. Oh yeah. So it doesn't get burned out. Yep. I'll show you something else too. Turn it around, let's knock this one out. It's not here, it's right here. Go ahead. Got it? Okay. So what I want you to do is punch that in a little bit more. Okay. Yep. Bottom it out. There you go. Good. You got it. Okay, now. So here's another tip I want to show you. Feel this right here. See how it's protruding ever so slightly? Yeah. So what I like to do when I countersink, I like to come back like this. Just go like this and watch. Just a little, feel that. See how that cleans it up? Oh yeah. You'll never see that. And just go like this, just to clean it up. <laughs> Make sure your hand isn't behind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just like that. And that cleans it up. I learned that from my buddy, Greg. Okay, so we'll put a, a little bit of glue. Not necessary, but I always like to. And I always like a, a nice, even spread. So what I like to do is I just like to use old hotel cards. And it just lays it out really easy like this. You can actually modify these to uh, get your glue in the mortise. But that gives you a nice, even coat. I'll put just a... I don't want to waste that. And there we go. There's my lineup right there. Okay, nice. and we'll put a couple of screws in there. Sounds good. Don't have to get too fancy. And I'm just gonna clean up some of that glue right out of there. We're just about ready to go. All right. <laughs> so now that we've made this, all right. What, what this is gonna do is this is gonna work with the Capex hold down. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna have repeatability so we can bump this in. But the, but also, we can also prep this for longer, shorter pieces, okay? <laughs> okay. So why not do it uh, and be proactive and do two at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some sandpaper. This is gonna give it a little bit of extra holding power, okay? okay? And I'm just gonna trim it like this, okay? Just come right across like this. I'm gonna take it like this. Bring it like this, 
and trim it. Okay? Don't throw this away because guess where we're gonna use this? On the other side. And I'll have you do that. All right. I'll hold it for you. Don't cut me. Ah! You can go away from me. <laughs> yeah. mm, how many knuckleheads does it take? So there you go and feel that. It's pretty rough. You can't it's have enough back. sandpaper that's sticky back. So let's take this and go over to the Capex. All right, let's do that. Hey, Big D, did you see that sandpaper, that leftover sandpaper? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, hey, Mo! <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> mm, wise guy. So let's set this up. There's that hole down, right? Yep. So I'm gonna grab another stick right here. We gotta cut a bunch of pieces. Let's just take it this long, okay? So what I'll do is I'll line that up with my laser. That's how we have to cut them. And I'm gonna bring this over up like this and just nestle it like this. And I'm gonna cut that with my laser, absolutely perfect. I'm going to make sure that that's pushed all the way in, okay? Okay. And now here's where the repeatability comes. I'm going to take my stop here and bring it right against there. So now I can use my hold down and you'll see how this works. I'm going to cut out I'm going to cut a piece. My hand will never get near this. I'll wait for it to come down, I'll unlock it, and it doesn't matter if this moves, okay? Because look, I have repeatability right here. So I could take this, bring it in right against there, bring it right up against that stop, and lock it right down. And now I'll have a bunch of just like that, nice and safe. Absolutely perfect, Big D. All Look right. That. There's all four of your pieces, all small pieces right there, all perfect. Good job, man.